Um, I will conclude the, the meetup with um, explaining a little bit this, the state of the HIV hack and then we can go have pizza all together. Um, so these were the three phases we defined for the project. So we are currently in phase one, that's why we're having these meetups um, right now. And then the hackathon is going to be end of September. And then if we have good solutions, we would like to implement them in the countries to really have uh, an impact with what we developed. So you all saw the hackathon kits. This is um, a document that regroups the use cases we defined to try to focus the efforts uh, for this problem. So we have t eight use cases with three types of challenges. So it's modeling, visualization, and the last one, which is a text mining, because we want to analyze the, uh, the guidelines of the countries and see if we can um, find information in what countries decided to implement and, uh, and the drug resistance. We have eight open data portals that we want to use and nine data sources. So data sources are just online data available, but not through a portal and an API. So these are two projects we initiated for the hackathon, the HIV hack meta portal and then an HIV organizations network. For the first one, the goal is actually to allow hackathonians to explore new ideas quickly. So if we um, propose people to switch between eight portals to learn the API and check everywhere if they have the data they're looking for, they're not going to go really far. So we really want one single entry point where if people want to include, for example, road infrastructure and check quickly if they have access to da this data, they just enter it, check if it exists. If it does, they download it. If it doesn't, they go on to the next idea. And this way we can, we hope to have a quick prototyping and better solutions at the end. Um, so how do we do this? The idea is to download from to manually all the API translation, download the metadata from all these portals and keep it in the server, and then we'll query it basically like Google would do. And if there is a data set, we have the connection to download the data. Um, this is an open project. We have Fernando here that also is helping us with it. So if anybody here would like to give a hand on the project, feel free to find me afterwards and we can discuss in the, the onboarding. Um, for the second project, this is a bit, it's born from, as, as uh, Marie-Pierre said, that people acting on the ground, doing work with HIV. Um, there's a lot of organizations and we don't really know, we don't always know who they are and how they are linked, right? Um, so we want to find a way to build at least a starting point of who is doing something. So this, this is uh, like a first attempt to build a network of HIV organizations. So it includes scraping the websites. We go on HIV websites we know are organizations that do HIV. Then we follow the links to other websites and we're building um, a model right now to classify whether or not it's an HIV website or not. So I have Haroon here helping me with the machine learning for this project. So as, as the same for the MetaProtal, if someone wants to lend a hand, welcome. Um, and then the goal also, if we have good results, is to actually do social uh, analytics on it, to find what are the big organizations that have influence in certain areas. So this way we can further the impact. If we have solutions, we know who to contact. And it's also both tools are actually valuable outside of the HIV hack itself. If we have a meta program working well, any company doing work with open data could use it. Same thing for the HIV organization network. So voila. If you have any other ideas, comments on these projects and on the presentations, then we can talk about this around pizzas that are being first. Thank you.